Hello, hello, friends. My name is Shrines, and it's time for more of Tales of Arise. Having a lot of fun with this. Defeated the Fire Lord guy last time. And there was a girl who popped up who needs our help. So we got her some medicine. Time to go help her. I did get my DLC pre order items finally redeemed through Amazon. So other on now, eventually I'll put them on my characters. So check them out. Got recipes too. Is this what you asked for? Perfect. That'll do nicely. I had a feeling you'd come through for us. With this, the little one should be right as rain in no time. I can't believe it. Not often we get visitors from Cislodia around here. Cislodia? Calaglia's neighbor. One of the five realms. What with that wall in the way, I guess it's not surprising. But I've never actually met someone from the outside world before. Up till now, the only time the gates ever opened was to let Renan convoy units in and out. No one ever thought to stow away and hitch a ride out? This place might be a living hell, but when next door is a living hell too, you start thinking it doesn't matter much one way or the other. So you're Rinwell, and you're with the Cislodian Resistance known as the Silver Swords. Your organization sent a group of you to establish contact, but you're the only one who made it through. That sound about right? Lately, our people's oppression has become more and more severe. When we heard rumors that you had staged a successful rebellion in Calaglia, we hoped that maybe you could help us. News sure gets around quickly, huh? If you ask me, it's awfully convenient she just happened to show up now. Certainly raises a lot of red flags. Please, I swear it's true! My people are dying! I risked my life trying to get here so I could find help. It's okay. You did well. We'll take it from here. <laughs> Hold on, Zephyr. You're not really thinking... We'll join her. Alfin, start getting ready. I let you use the Blazing Sword, and we work together to overthrow the Lords. That was the deal, remember? Wait, is that a Renan? What is this? Take it easy. It's complicated, but she's on our side. She helped to find some medicine for you. She did? But no, she's a... I, I can't believe it. The Renans from other realms could attack at any time. That's for you all to worry about. I've got bigger fish to fry. That sword of Alfin's is our best weapon. We can't just go lending him to other lands. Even if you keep him here, the blade's as good as useless without me on board. And what makes you think I can't persuade you, Bright Eyes? What makes you think you can? Last I checked, you couldn't even touch me. Enough! Alfin, what do you want to do? I... I know all too well the hardships the slaves of this realm had to endure. That's why I took up the sword. To help them. If Danans are being oppressed in other realms, then... then I have to help them, too. Nath has a point. We can't discount the possibility of further attacks. But now, our struggle has grown. It's become much larger than just liberating the people of Calaglia. We can't be in two places at once, Zephyr. True. Which means we're limited in our options. We play this the same way we did with Balsef. I have a bad feeling about this. You and me both, but it's too late for regrets. Jeez, really? You don't say. So, you're really going, huh? Just the four of you? Uh, afraid so. Look after the place while we're away. 
<laughs> Always the smooth talker. We'll do what we can to hold down the fort. We've got the Renans to keep us busy. Good luck. Just remember. Yeah, yeah, don't go killing anyone without good reason. I get it. I'm not about to repeat what they did. Let's move, people. Ephra has joined your party. Like, join, joined? Like, I can control him? Well, that was interesting. Do you think we'll really be able to wipe the Renans off the face of Dana? Who said anything about doing that? But we have to in order to survive. Don't we? Now that you have the Blazing Sword, and have shown that we really can win this fight. Do you really think we should go around killing every last Renin? Nope. But what else are we supposed to do? Say we go around killing Renins, so they don't kill us first. In turn, that'll just make more and more of them want to kill us. Where does it end once you enter such a vicious cycle? Is that why you told Grenar not to kill any Renins without a good reason? I'm not saying we should forgive and forget what they've done to us. But we can't let ourselves be dragged down by our own hatred either. That's good. Hatred comes in many forms. And there's no one solution that will work in every situation. We have to keep searching for new ones if we're going to survive. It's a lifelong journey, finding the answers. That goes for you too. You have to come up with your own answers. Hey, Zephyr, why do you keep fighting? What do you mean? Until I met you and the Crimson Crows, all the Danans I ever knew just accepted their lot in life as slaves. Hell, even I was like that. But all of you in the Resistance are different. Even when you have no hope of winning, you keep on fighting. Why is that? Come on, that's an easy one. I just refuse to live life as a slave. That's all. Better to die fighting for freedom than to live as a slave, huh? Let me ask you a question, Alfin. What does it mean to you to not be a slave any longer? I guess... it means living a life not being ruled by the Renans, right? But what about the Danans who died standing up to the Renans? Are they still slaves? <sighs> Would they be truly free if all they did was follow my orders and die without knowing what it was they were doing? But that's... Being a slave isn't just a position. It's also a state of mind. Don't become my slave, Alfin. Huh. Okay. That was interesting, Zephyr. Take good care of your bodies on your travels. The road to freedom is a marathon, not a sprint. Indeed. To be honest, as much as I know our neighbors could use the help, I wish ever stay here and focus on Galaglia. Yeah, I just got saved. But I know once Zephyr makes up his mind about something, he's not one to back down, so I won't try to talk him out of doing going for all of you. Happy is going. Don't worry about us, we can hold the fort down here just fine. See for near, huh? Uh, he's not like in my party. Hey, Rinwell's not either. I wonder if we'll get to go to Rena. Probably. I'm gonna try out the new DLC real quick. Oh, I think it's under outfits. Reconcile armor. Armor worn by a Dan and Hero fought injustice and saved countless lives. The metal is said to have grown more lustrous with each sin hurt. Ooh. Looking nice. I think there's like a wing. That looks pretty cool. 
Yes, that's a rabbit tail on him. Then... Double Ash. Oh, that looks cool. That's pretty much a black version of her normal outfit. Mmm, thought it was something else. Ren and dress armor that combines both tradition and function. It manages to retain its grace and elegance even under the ashes. But those look really cool. Now we can take the tail off and put the... I like the contrast. Cool. Oh dang. <laughs> that wing is huge. Wow. It is so huge. That is cool looking. It's like a Sephiroth thing with the one wing. Where are we going? The little thing over there is a campfire down there. I have Zephyr for a few minutes. Probably not for long. Normally I don't pick on the weak. Demon Peg! You're surrounded! Just stay calm! See ya! Demon Peg! 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 Demon he likes saying that, doesn't he? Gotta roll with it. Everything's coming up, Zephyr. What's that <laughs> over there? Some kind of castle? Yeah, one that belongs to a different lord than Balsef. Right, that makes sense. Hey, you said there the were water. five of them in all, right? Right. We've still got a lot of work ahead of us. Game is so pretty. Oh, I love the water. At least it's not all fiery now. Let me down. Ooh, recipe. Life bottle. <laughs> Even better. Definitely need some life bottles. They're expensive to buy. Rinwell, right? It's nice to meet you. Does that little white animal follow you everywhere? He's not a little white animal. His name's Hoodle, and he's a baby owl. Oh, adorable. <laughs> and he's the only friend I have. Aww. Brutal is so cute. I'll take you all on. I never miss. Rising one burn. final push. Right. Give them all we got. These little ones are hardly worth Less talking, more pummeling. Easy. Did level up a little bit. Well, not a whole lot off camera. I'm playing Genshin Impact a lot, so I wanted to whack those trees. <laughs> Wrong game. That was really cool. I like that lightning one. That was nice. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. I hope we go equip that. Let's go get rid of these guys. Little armadillo things. Buttons. Rising I don't know if I'm running him Where through, but form. I mean, he has a gauntlet, right, Zephyr? Where am I going? Okay, up and to the right. Check that. Oh, cutscene. Hootie! What's got you so worked up, Hoodle? Oh no, it's being attacked! Is that? Watch out! They know we're here! Flying Zoogles, huh? This is going to get interesting. They're nothing I haven't seen before. Fion! I'll shoot them down, you finish them off. Got it?
Sounds like a plan. Knock a flying enemy out of the sky, and it's as good as done. Right. I'll see what I can do. Rising right! Right How dare you hurt the little hoodoo. Little owls. Bad bugs. What was it those Zoogles were attacking just now? Huh? Is that? Oh, she healed him. Nice. What? It's nothing. I only helped because it was convenient. We couldn't have moved forward without clearing out those Zoogles. <laughs> I don't know what's got you ticked off at me this time, but I suggest you keep your hands away from me. No one asked you to help. Rinwell, she healed its wounds. She's not trying to hurt it. How can you be so... <laughs> oh, he is tiny. They look like they're talking to each other. He's probably happy to see another owl. I don't think Hoodle's ever met one before. He might have been wondering if he was the only one. Well, there's a lot more ah! Hoodle. Oh. Aww, oh. oh, he's so he cute. He just barely got to say hi. At least we know it's out there. I'm sure we'll run into it again somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Right, Hoodle? Aw, oh, Hoodle wants to say hi. Play. Hey, Hoodle's adorable. I didn't know Hoodle was gonna be so cute. I'm always impressed how good of a shot you are, Shion. What do you mean? Just that all I'm good for is throwing myself at things with all my might. By comparison, your way is more... How do I put it? Precise. It's not like I'm that good of a... <sighs> Look, that's just how it is with guns. If you miss, it's a wasted bullet you can't get back. Is that why you're always aiming to exploit enemies' weak spots? I wouldn't say every shot is that deliberate, but that is part of it. For example, if I see a flying enemy, I'll often go for their wings. Also, if I see a jumping enemy without wings, I know they're an easy target because they can't get out of the way while in the air. In your case, I bet it's easier for you to deal with enemies that stay on the ground, right? Definitely. Things that can fly circles around me are a real pain to deal with. Exactly. It's important to keep your enemy's movements in check. True. Although your shots have the added benefit of stunning enemies, so it's easier to swipe materials from them. It's really helped out. It's nothing, really. As long as you keep doing your part when we fight, I'd say we're even. Hmm, okay, cool. Make sure there's nothing hiding around here. Ooh, a campfire. I guess. To make sure you're nice and prepared. Any new weapons? I can not make the basic. I need more stone fragments. Oh well. You have to buy apple gels. Oh, that's all you have. Okay, let's go cook things. <laughs> let's go cook. What are you staring for? Do all Danon fighters look like you? What, this getup? I pulled this number together from scrap and parts I salvaged throughout the years. Though now I'm feeling self-conscious, seeing how put together you seem to be. Oh, oh no, I was just curious. Did you fortify your right side more because that's your dominant side? Partly. But mostly because my body's a little worse for wear after all these years fighting. Oh, uh -huh. that makes sense. So you take extra care to protect your dominant side with more armor. 
Smart. Is fighting all you think about? <laughs> well, you asked about it. Who have new recipes? Mushrooms. Elemental defense up tea. Oh, 5%. Steamed potatoes. Oh, I have a lot more potatoes now. Carp. Oh, yeah. Defense up is pretty much what I go for. What's this? The new one. Mabo curry bun. A dish that combines mabo tofu and curry within a doughy bun. Not even the pickiest eater on Donna can risk his chewy, spicy goodness. Ooh, attack up L. Oh my gosh. How much is L? 16%. Okay. Fisherman's hot pot. Ooh. A trademark dish sold at particular food stall. Carefully chosen ingredients and preparation make it nothing sort of divine. Yo HP after battle. Oh, 20%. Nice. Eastern rice. Extremely popular dish to order at a certain eatery. It's a combo of hot rice topped with heaps of meat leaves all who feast on it utterly satisfied. More dropped items. I probably need that when I go hunting for stuff. Eggs, rice, pork, pepper, and egg. Only have one rice and one egg. Fruit sandwich. Fresh, colorful fruit laid between two slices of soft tender bread. Preparing excellent plate requires mastery of wide array of dishes. Ooh, experience boost. Hello. Okay, I might have to get that when I have more ingredients. I wish I could get Zephyr to make something. I could have Alvin cook? Hmm. Come and try it. That turned out good, if I do say so myself. Nice to have Zephyr in the party. Or at least nearby. I think we've rested long enough. Let's Booty. keep moving. Poodle, come here. Hello? Talk to me, little guy. Oh. If you hear hooting. Oh, there we go. <laughs> if I want to work. Frame glasses. Glasses with white frames coupled with large lenses that make the wear look serious. My little I'm surprised there are owls here too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. I wonder if there's more things with uh oof, there's no rest points in here, are there? Ooh, a big boy. Okay. Oh wow, that's interesting. I got to fight these guys. I take it we're heading through here then. Everything all right, Zephyr? Yeah, it's nothing. What is that? A ring? It was my wife's. Your wife? You never mention anything about being married. That's surprising. You said was. So then, is she gone? Was it the Renans? No. She was sick. I couldn't get her the medicine she needed. And then she was gone. I'd always wanted to show her the world as it could be. I'm sorry. Don't be. There are plenty of people out there more deserving of your sympathy than me. But... but... <sighs> Let's go. He's kind of fatherly towards her. For him, his wife. What is this place anyway? What's with these columns and steps? No idea. I've never been here before either. Rena's convoy squads probably used it in the past. I guess it's definitely seen better days. You wouldn't know anything, would you, Xion? Nope. And I'm not interested in learning, either. <sighs> Actually, these are Danon ruins. See? You can tell by the way the columns are decorated and stuff. They're all old Danon designs. Are you saying these things were built more than 300 years ago, then? Yeah. I have no idea what they were used for, though. 
It's amazing to think our ancestors were capable of making such structures. Hopefully there'll come a time when us Danans will be able to walk through here freely again. That's exactly what you're fighting for, isn't it? Let's keep moving. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. Mushrooms? What the heck is that? Not that. But... Ooh, I don't want to fight it. Don't for the get defense. Careless. Level 14, too. Poison. I should probably do something about that. Rising Wyvern! Eat there! Run you through! Don't go too much! Get on the ground for me. Ooh, strike. Consider yourself finished. See you continue on in that vein. Uh, yes, my lady. Something you wanted to say? Like, yes, my lady. Like, she sounds kind of controlling. Let me know if you're struggling. Now, if you hear we're good, don't you worry, Zephyr. I feel like they're gonna come to life. Well, I did. I knew it. I knew it. Normally, I don't pick up. Here I come. This one's mine. This thing isn't weak. Something's growling. I don't like it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so happy Zephyr's here. Never imagined there were Zoogles out there that could pretend to be statues. That's because Zoogles don't come from nature. Who knows what else is lurking out there? Guess we have don't. to be prepared for anything. Zoogles aren't from nature at all. Okay. Oh, well, it looks pretty, though. I love the art in this game. It looks really nice. It's freezing in here. And after how hot it was outside, too. It must be the cold air sweeping in from Cislodia. It's the polar opposite of Calaglia, so I'd get used to it if I were you. Is the little guy okay? Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Cislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. Rinwell, how about filling them in on what to expect from Cislodia? Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Well, for starters, nobody trusts nobody. Come again? Just like I said, you never know when snake eyes are watching you. Snake eyes? That's what they call their lord's henchmen, apparently. Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere, observing us at all times. So? Renin surveillance was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renin's. They've got Dan and spying on each other, too. That sucks. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small-time informants. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Of course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? 
Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. <sighs> That's why the world needs people like us. Well, that was kind of depressing, so everyone tattled on everyone. That's no good. Is the blazing sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. So, do I go up or do I keep going? I think I keep going. So, what's up here? Oh, is it just the way through? I can't tell. I see creepy things. No, that goes that way. Right? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay. I couldn't tell from there. Climbing. All the climbing. I will check things no matter what. At least a bit. Oh, I wish you could get the jump on things. Normally I don't pick up. I can speak about these things. That's what I was waiting for. Oh, I hit it. I totally hit it. And it's like, nope. I'm sure I can put this to use. Previous from certain enemy attacks can inflict physical ailments. Oh. Okay. Got it. I'm gonna say if her abilities for fire, oh, not fire, flyers. Do I walk into it? Oopsie. Oh, what was that? How do you like go boom? Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. Of course. Well, let's use an apple gel. I seem to have too many. I forgot they have limits. So many of these things I don't like. That's okay. Brace yourself. This one's tough. It's over. Zero flame. Come on. I need to look at my uh, art. You're mine. Huh? I'll run you through. It's over. You're mine. It's over. Mega ray. I'm on top. Demon. This one's all mine. I don't want to get in there. Okay. Here I go. No escape. I'm on it. Save his break for later. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. All right. With your flames and my technique, we're stronger together than we are apart. I didn't work. I tried though. I guess I gotta run. Yeah, I got something. There's flyers. I guess if I go around this way, it'll be... Enemies. Brace yourselves! This one's tough! This one's mine! You're finished! Demon Frank! Right here! Getting a mess with his arse. Your weight won't save you from me! Marks can handle it. Take this. Hear me. Uh, 
Alright, one down. Oh, very nice to have Zephyr here. Let me know. Only have 200 increased critical damage. Sure. And she has 300. Let's see. What can I ever learn? Lunar Blast. Kicks an enemy in the air and shoots them. It's mid-air damage. Hmm. What I need for this one? More meals. Oh, she needs to start cooking more. Try that one. And then our art. I mean, things when, I haven't used Severing Wind. Try Lightning Thrust, a martial art that starts with a lightning charge thrust before teleporting instantly into the air above. Ooh. Sardust, Mirage. That's it. <laughs> make you, maybe I'll make you Stardust, and then you be Mirage. If you're struggling, now nah, we're good. Really? At least you don't have to buy too much stuff. I would say before I get to the giant Zoogle. I think is probably nearby. Ooh, three of them. But an item is hitting. Okay. I want it so badly. Let them them. Mark this one's tough. Off Win. I'm on it. By the tower You're on. Talon storm. Demon bag. You're surrounded. Flag. Just stay calm. Yeah. Oh, that is a cool move. Get away from poison. What's wrong? Nothing. Focus on the fight. I'll fix you up. Thank you. This is it. Dig deep. These little ones are hardly worth our time. No excuses. Let's draw some more pummels. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Okay. I wish she can recover people, because that would suck if she couldn't right now. Oh, cool. Okay. That is useful. Wrong way. Um, this one? Oh, can I even get over there? Huh. Question mark. We'll see. Enemies. Oh, so cool. Probably run to flyers next, but that's fine. That's some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. Yeah, I've got to go around here. And jump. I guess. Ooh, an orange gel. I must say, if it's another apple gel. <laughs> Wait, down? That's unexpected, but okay. Yeah, I'm down here. I don't get out of here. Ooh, big boy. And those things. Well, it's time to save and try and get through it. He'll be fine. No problem. No problem. I'd steer clear of that Zoogle if I were you. Uh-uh, I want it. It's only level 15. 
Oh, it has an intro. We don't have much choice. Some of the annoying ones. Oh crap. This can't be She all knows. It's over. I'll run you through. See ya. That's not good. A new leaf on life. No dying. Oh, you're still alive and healthy. Look at this one. One down. And we can work on big boy. Your four is two. Lungs are after her. I mean, Alpha. Alright. Keep your distance. I wish you would get away from it. You are annoying. Kill it, kill it, kill it. There's just things coming out. Okay. Now he's angry. Got it. Ooh, yes. See, I think we can take it if we're really careful. Xiang keeps her distance. I don't know what he's doing. Killing Xion, probably. What is that? I don't like. Like this. Try to knock him down. Having the Zephyr is helpful. What's he doing? Just pipe down. Oh, I ran into it. Crap. Alfin is fine, don't worry. I'm gonna wheel on it now. Not as possible. Don't die, Shion. Got this. So it better be dead. <laughs> At this rate. <laughs> Astral flower. Everyone's still in one piece. Still alive. Onyx mail. Nice. Male line of onyx. The jewels are said to change the colors they absorb the astral energy surrounding What have we got here? Oh, I it's saw that the... in a book once. Those things are worth a lot. I hear growling, so I'm going to save. But it should have given us a lot of skill points. Uh, it gave us some. Onyx mail. Ooh. Plus 20 for defense, 32 elemental defense, and 26 resistance. Nice. 
You're a little bookworm, aren't you? <laughs> she sounds happy about that. Oh, it brings me back over here. Wait, where am I? Okay, perfect. So I can just come through here. Like I was supposed to. Right? That's nice they brought you right back over here like that. That's useful. These things fly and attack me. Oh, well, I'm gonna get attacked anyway over here. Aloha. I have a bad feeling about this. What? Oh, Stardust is gonna bring you down. What is it? Oh, it didn't knock him down at all. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! See you continue on in that thing. Yes, my lady? Something you wanted to say? I like that line. It's like, what? Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Oh, wow, water everywhere. <sighs> I hope there's a camp up here. Don't get careless. Here I come. Don't tell me. Consider yourself finished. See you continue on in that thing. Uh, yes, my lady? Something you wanted to say? See ya. Take this. Talon storm. Flaming thrust. Touch cannon. Win. I'll run you through. All right. Fun. I like the battle system. Well, take a look at that. At uh, what exactly? That we won. Came from there. Anything hiding in the crevices? Well, at least there's mushrooms. Not much further now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans, yet we rarely take up arms, because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is, we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, 
The fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. Okay, Xion. Cheerful. Where am I stuck? The dot 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 placed into the unknown. Well, we know it's going to be so slow to you, probably. Oh, wow. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zugals here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while, so the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. Oh, that was cool. And I'm stuck again. I guess they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? Nuh-uh. <laughs> Well, we made it to Slowly. I'm going to end that episode here, but thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, subscribe.